face the most nights out every day with your own heart desire. Leave the man, leave the man. Exodus 32 verse 26 said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. Amen. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye who are ever laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11 verse 28. Move the sin, or I'll blot your name out from my book. Exodus 32 verse 33. The Lord played the people because they didn't feel the calm. Amen. I wonder why he played this this time. Exodus 32 verse 8. They turned aside quickly making that calf. Claiming that the calf delivered them. 32 20. The calf was burned. And the powder spread on the waters. And given to the children of Israel to drink. The Lord doesn't play like that. It's time for us to pick a side, saints. 32 and 14. The Lord repented of the evil that he thought to do to the people. Like it was in the days of Jonah. When Jonah went to bring the news. The king called for a fast. And the people obeyed. And guess what? They were delivered. Amen. God's love has been unique from the beginning. And it will be unique in the very end. His mercy that is about to pour out on judgment never heard of in no part of the universe it's ever been heard of I would have mercy on who I will have mercy on because his forgiveness is a holy act it's the act that is holy amen the Lord is not reject forever after he afflicts then he pardons the Bible says Psalms 119 verse 67 King David said before I was afflicted then returned I to your commandments his mercies are not spent amen you and I cannot exhaust his mercies or his love or his loving kindness they are renewed every morning you stopped believing in that he does not willfully bring affliction to mankind I'm a sight summer the places of his love and the uniqueness of it let's start with Adam and Eve everything that happened with Adam and Eve they were banished but not killed everything that Cain did he was banished and mocked but he was not killed amen Jacob did a trick there right little trick but yet still he was not killed no God loved him all of these people way too much he loves us just the same he hasn't changed samson was blinded yes he was weakened but he was not killed david amen lived out all the length of his days the apple of god's eyes and with all that he went through up and down god never killed david either god is not a killer solomon with all he went through with sheba his punishment was to lose sheba God loved him too much to give him the thing that he needed, which was death. Peter ran off and denied Christ three times. But Jesus replied and said, Peter, when you return to me, and when thou art converted, you say you love me, feed my sheep. Hosea 6 and verse 1 and 2. The Lord pleased mankind to return to him. And in Jeremiah 3 and 14, he says, I'm married to you. If you're in a backslidden state, you need to come back from that backslidden state. I'm here for your return. God said, no matter what you do, I will love you. If you reject me, if you're not ready, I'll wait until the last trump. If you're addicted to abuse, I'll still love you. If you refuse me and you refuse to believe in me, I'll still love you. If you refuse to return, if you won't let go and let me in, and if you won't forgive, I'll wait until you do to the last trump. Because I love you. I'll still love you. Matter of fact, I'll always love you. Amen, says the Lord. You are mine, Isaiah 43 verse 1 says. I redeemed you. I called you by me. Your name, you're mine. Even if you hate me, I will act. But I do love you. You cannot exhaust God's love. You cannot exhaust God's mercy. 
cannot exhaust his loving kindness. Return to me and I'll return to you, said the Lord. Today, my friends, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. For the Lord your God is waiting for you. He's waiting for you to return. Amen. We're going up the mountain and we're calling everybody to come with us. Amen. If you need him today, just say this little prayer in your heart with me today and you will be forgiven. Lord Jesus, receive me. No more will I grieve thee. Blessed Redeemer, save me at the cross. God bless you. God keep you and cause his light to ever shine upon you and give you peace. Shalom.